Okay, so I'm coming to you again from my kitchen, and I wanted to be able to share with you um, a couple drawings that I'm going to do, and I'm going to use these with um, another demonstration that I have coming up for you here. Okay, so I have two pieces of paper here in front of me. Okay, so the first one is just the drawing paper that I've used in other videos. It's just a quarter sheet of one of my bigger pieces of drawing paper that I just personally happen to have. And then this piece here is a piece of mail. You can see there's some, maybe you can, it's been folded, okay? Um, the other side of it is just, it's, it's a notice from my bank about what they're doing for what's going on right now. But the other side is blank. So I wanted to show you that this is also another option for those of you who maybe don't necessarily have specific paper dedicated to um, to drawing or painting or other things like that. So I wanted to show you this. Um, it will work. This is actually a thicker piece of paper. Um, so hey, it'll work. I got it, right? Might as well try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw on the back of it. Now, make sure you ask mom and dad before you draw on the back of it. I don't want to get in any sort of, I don't want to get you in trouble, I don't want to have any sort of call from mom or dad about how you use something that they needed, okay? So make sure that it's okay with them before you use it, okay? I'm going to draw a tree on this piece of paper, uh, mainly because you guys are always telling me that you don't know how to draw trees, and um, also because it will work well for my next demonstration video, which if you watch it, you'll see what I'm using it for. So I'm going to draw a tree. I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my paper with the trunk of my tree. Which I'm going to come in a little closer for you guys. Not too close. There we go. Okay, so I've got the trunk, the center part of the trunk of my tree. All right, make it a little bit longer. I'm flaring out the base of my tree. Not a whole, whole lot, but just a little bit because the base of my tree is going to be slightly wider. Okay, so then up here, I'm going to start kind of narrowing it. Not a whole lot, but just a little. I'm going to veer it off to this side here because it's going to have a branch here like this. I'm going to make kind of a Y shape here. Okay, like this. Maybe here I have another branch that comes out like this. And I'm going to make it get really skinny at the end. Okay, let me erase that little part there. So that way it looks like it comes from the same spot. Okay. Maybe there's another branch down here. Skinny at the end. Okay, so that's the idea. Is that every place you see how this also kind of has this Y shape here? Every place that you're going to put a branch, or that you would like to put a branch, you're going to make it thinner than the branch that it comes from and as it goes out it will get skinny because that's what branches do okay so they're gonna get skinny skinnier as they go okay now I'm doing what we call breaking the picture plane which is where I have taken my branches and I've literally drawn them right to the edge of my paper okay 
That's called breaking the picture plane. That's giving the idea that there is more than what I cannot, than what I can see going on. I just, I can't see it. And that is an artistic trick that we use to give the idea that things continue on even though we do not necessarily see where they are, okay? It gives that idea that it carries on even though we cannot see it. I don't like the look of that one, so I'm going to erase. See, even I erase. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect the very first time. That's why we have erasers. It's also why we draw lightly. And you guys will remember from class that um, I usually have to draw darker for you guys to be able to um, see what I'm drawing when I use my projector at school. So. what I'm doing here too. But I'm still not drawing super, super dark, so that way I can still um, maintain some of the erasability that I want with my, with my drawing here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna kinda, kinda keep adding some little branches here and there. This is going to be a fall tree. Okay, now a lot of you want to put the end of your ground, you want to say that your ground is right there and you want to have your tree growing out of this line because apparently the ground never extends beyond where the tree is. Okay, that's, that's a bad idea. All right, we want to show that our ground continues on into space. So I'm going to bring it above the bottom of my tree. I'm going to add in my background line. Okay. And I think I might add in maybe there's another tree way back here in the distance. So I'm going to make him or her really small. Not really small, but significantly smaller. Maybe not as many details. We're still going to have some limbs coming off of the tree. Just Not as many of the teeny, tiny details, just kind of the bigger ones. So that way we can see that it is a tree back there. Okay, so there's how to draw a tree. I've got a foreground, I've got a background, kind of a middle ground almost, okay. Um, I can add more things to this, but I just wanted to show you quickly how to draw a tree, how to kind of change the size so that way um, you can see different viewpoints um, of the tree and things like that. Okay, so that was a quick demonstration of how to draw a tree.